got to keep really close watch because there's ships everywhere. Barges and the barges aren't lit. There's potentially a man in the water or a person. person. Welcome to episode 121. We are currently about 100 nautical miles from Jakarta. A usual night for us on passage, if all is smooth sailing, is Lee will be on watch from around 10 p.m. to 2 or 3, and then it's my turn. I love this shift. Maybe not the first couple of hours when it's dark, but when it's first light. The moment I can see everything without relying on our radar or AIS is a comforting feeling of relief and reassurance we made it through another night. I can undo my harness, I check for boats. When it's clear, I go on the deck and do some yoga while everybody else sleeps. Waiting to take my hand and wake me up from dreaming. This is my favorite time to stretch and to connect into me and my body. because the wind's dropped out a bit and uh, we have a lot of ships around us. That's us in the middle. And there's some big tanker thingies, cargo ships, all the things. It's real nice. Oh, and here comes the captain. Help me out, because I'm not real good when ships come close. Am I, babe? You do all right. You're very bloody good. So it should be our last night at sea tonight. We are, how far are we from Jakarta, babe? Oh, about 80 nautical miles. So that should bring us in tomorrow sometime. We're hoping before dark, that would be very nice. And we've got a bit of wind at the moment, so we've got the engine off, which is good. And we just got to keep really close watch because there's ships everywhere. We thought, oh, there's no ships around us, and Lee just went and had a look, and there's three heading straight for us. <laughs> so that's fun. But we've had a pretty good passage. We've got one more day in us, and uh, then we'll be into Jakarta to pick up Jay. Jay uh, texted us this, this morning and he checked in and then his flight got delayed. Um, but then I didn't hear again. He said he was getting on another flight. So I think he's on another flight. So he should be arriving probably uh, any time now into Jakarta. So he will be there waiting for us and we will hopefully be in there tomorrow at some point. And we are pretty keen to get in. Lee's a bit tired. He's had ample opportunities to sleep today and he just hasn't. So he's getting tired now, so he'll be probably heading to bed soon. But when he... Uh, he won't be able to sleep until these ships pass, so... Come on, ships. So there's a little tugboat over here. But if you look closer, he is towing something. A big, big barge. This is what I came close to a few nights ago. The tug is usually on the AIS, but the barge isn't. They also don't like to answer on the radio, so we try and avoid these guys as much as possible. A lot of stuff going up on the radar, but not much AIS. Look how pretty the sky is. Do us an average day on Catalpa when we're on passage for Bella. Feeling like a grotty yachty, I need a shave, haircut. Um, I wasn't asking you, my darling. Yeah, like you need a haircut because there's a bull spot because I cut it. I've like been trimming away my hair while I was asleep. Oh, did you? Right there, see? Oh, I see it. <laughs> So that's what Bella gets up to, chops people's hair while they're sleeping. <laughs> Our last night before we get to port and just how beautiful is this sky. 
we're coming into Jakarta and there's just vessels everywhere all the way around us. Some with AIS, some without, some little, some big. Pretty scary. Hopefully we get there. It's pretty hectic out here tonight. There is barges and ships and every sort of vessel you can think of and hopefully not too many nets. Main concern is a lot of the tugboats are towing these huge barges and the barges aren't lit. So it's just yeah trying to decipher whether there's something's getting towed or not. And, uh, so far so good. Fingers crossed. Let's see how we go. This queen is zonked.
we'll head into port and keep our eyes out on the way in. Hopefully someone's found him or her. On the way in, the captain thought he'd better clean himself up and try some new looks maybe. What do you think? No, no, don't worry, don't they won't stop sleeping, but soon they'll be caring. Come from near and far, with their hands and hearts, cause it's time to stand up. Coming into port and we could see a dirty water line. And it's pretty common to see this coming into a port. But this one was extra gross. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's plastic. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I thought it was just dirty water, but it's rubbish. It was a disturbing sight and made us even less excited to head into port. Uh, we're just coming into a marina, which we're both a little bit nervous about because we haven't come into a marina for over a year, or well, nearly two years, so a year and a half. So yeah, fingers crossed everything goes smooth, we're just following a boat in. Um, this place stinks, hey? the water is putrid, it's very smelly. I hope we are not here more than a couple of days. The couple should feel it all at home with this concrete all around. No jokes, this is serious business. We arrive with a friendly, helpful team to help make our marina experience easy peasy docking. Thank you. Once we arrive, we found some luggage and this guy. It's our new crew member! Hello. Don't roll it off the edge, eh? <laughs> He's struggling. The struggle is real, ladies and gentlemen. The struggle is real. <laughs> He's going to help. You want... <laughs> it's okay now. I've got some balance. He doesn't take help from anybody. Around. He decided to bring his whole life with him. It's moving on. <laughs> yeah, I'm never getting off. <laughs> and I did About the new crew member. Yeah. Worth taking them board or not? We can always leave them at the dock. I'm going to bribe her with lollies to say nice things about me. Okay, we'll cut, redo it again, Bella. What do you think about the new crew member? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, J Boy here has brought over a little uh, early. Birthday present for Sarah. What have we got here? Oh, I can see he's got his free diving fins there. Oh, I can ride that. <laughs> oh, that could fit. I can ride that too. Yeah. Do you have any fins? Everyone gets fins. Thanks, Gary. Nice. You know what, I reckon that suits you. Look at that under your hand. <laughs> yes! 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 Really gets all the good presents. Got you the pink one to match your favourite undies. Better share them with your brother. Another birthday present in there. Oh, I see. Oh, we've got a Spanish fly. Now you have two. That actually looks. We've got a little skirt. A little skirt. Yeah. A couple of little surface guys. 
heard these ones are dynamite over here. Oh, oh. 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 look at that guy. Pretty good there. Yeah, I love it. Hey, Belle. Yeah. Are you a mermaid? Oh. Oh, my Santa usually oh has my a big God. Christmas sack, but J Boy Santa's got a uh, big board bag. <laughs> you know it. How good did he do? Oh! oh. Straight on. Straight on. No mucking around, eh? <laughs> Yeah, sexy lady. Whoa. Oh, look at that. oh these are real nice. They're pretty cute, eh? They're real cute. They're a good picker of things. Jay's got a feminine side there. He knows what he's doing with those bikinis. Oh, oh yeah. Like, oh, he has that same. <laughs> as well. Oh, come on, look at these. I like these. Oh, they're nice. They're really good. Good Must be legs! <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are so cute! Oh, they're a 12, mate. Oh, 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 nice! So oh, they're cool! <laughs> oh, that is the green! Oh, so sick! So there's Jay's uh, three ladies he's brought along with him. There's number one. Pretty cute, eh? Oh, that's sick. Are they good? Yeah. Especially this area. Oh, that is nice. How do you feel of that? Five, seven. Do you think there's going to be any issues bringing them back from here? Like, in, <laughs> in Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catalpa tax. I think they're saying. I think this one. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. To <laughs> Got some Whittakers. So join us next time as Jay makes himself at home on Catalpa and we see the volcano Krakatau going nuts. Remember guys, if you like that video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more.